What's the loading? Where's the space? Can you start? Transitioning to game. <gasps> Whoa. Right away. Hey, welcome everyone. Um, yeah, the main menu had loud music, so we just kind of hopped in. Uh, this is called Survey. Um, don't really know what's going on. Okay, whoa, why am I so fast? Okay, you gotta really pinpoint uh, stuff here. Yes, I don't know why I'm in here. The game's called Survey. Oh, there's a flashlight. That's it? <laughs> so we're in this super dark house. For some reason, I guess we just woke up. Maybe had a nightmare. There's weird noises downstairs. It's raining. I guess we'll go check out. It's a bit weird how fast I move. I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Do I open the curtain? Way too fast. Yeah. It's... Can you slow down, sir? I can't. You a bit too fast. I'm not in control of my speed, honey. <gasps> I definitely should slow down my move speed here. But I feel like there's something going on down there. Can we turn the light on? Where's the light switch? Whoa. What? I didn't know that I had this on. Too fast. Just getting a feel. Okay, washer and dryer. Bathroom. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just... Oh. What the hell's going on? Dirty? I feel like there's something under there. What the hell? There's a tiny chair. That's where I put my kids when they misbehave. I guess so. Is that a TV? What an awful bedroom that is. That's my office. I can't use anything. There's a key. Uh, I guess I'll come back. But... I feel dizzy for this game. Yeah, it's pretty fast. There more light switches? Yeah. Let's get them all on, so if they turn off, we know something's up. Much better. So what's going on down here? A light switch right there, on the left side. They can hear something weird. Sounds like it's outside. <gasps> Fireplace. The oven's on? Is it? Oh, the water is running, I think. Say something here. Yeah, question marks. Press P to pause many of your documents. Well, that's weird. Well, that's long. I've been in this journal for a while. Okay, I'll answer the phone the first. Phone. Ooh, look at my what? That's my shadow. You did on purpose. I know it. How am I supposed to... Master bedroom, auto bedroom, bedroom, room. Look for the channel numbers. I'll look for the channel numbers. Unlock the page. She's watching you. Don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now she's upstairs waiting for you. Oh. Great. I don't quite get it. Look for the channel numbers. So they have to be downstairs, I guess. One's in the master bedroom. Oh, these are all upstairs, though. One's in the living room. What was this other note? 
March 8th, 2003. I haven't written this journal in a, in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old, while Marcus I th is, I think, four. The other day, she was painting a picture, and it looked fairly abstract at first. Just a blend of seemingly random shades and hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being very a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confused manner, as if all she was doing was casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles, no family issues either, besides his drinking problem. I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. Okay. Okay. That was pointless. Oh, it's my phone. Oh, that's the... I have to unlock it. Mm -hmm. You need to look for the channel numbers, right? Channel numbers. Okay, so apparently there's one in here. Right, is this the living room? Oh. So Six? Nine? No. <laughs> nine. D? That's D the I last one. What does that mean, D-I? Well... Maybe it's a different language for nine? I don't know. So it said she's upstairs, but I have to go upstairs to check the stuff. Turn the light on, please. Give me anxiety. It's not very you bright. You cannot turn the light on here. Holy smoke. I wonder what that weird creaking noise is. It's kind of weird how fast we are. But... So if she's upstairs, how am I supposed to avoid her? Can't open the door to go outside. Is this any order of room that we can check? No. So I feel I don't know what to. Okay, so master bedroom and the other bedroom. There should be one here. makes me uneasy the saying that she's waiting for me up here is that my wife or what any numbers okay in the bathroom well does that count as maybe it's in yeah. here oh this is a closet yeah I don't see a number. Hmm. Can we move? Unity. Sure? No, I, I don't think I can touch anything. So fast. Yeah. Can you change your controller or something? No, I, I can't adjust the speed as far as I know. I didn't see a control for that. What the hell? Where is this? Check the mirror. Oh. It's dirty. Am I supposed to touch the TV? Let me check that note again. I can't take the note. The channel number could maybe it's channel nine. You Look have to change the channel the in the TV. It says unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Don't leave static on. Oh, so I guess I flip through the channels or something. Maybe we can try. So there's three room, right? Maybe three channels in the three different rooms. Yeah, I guess this. What the hell? Channel numbers. So we, don't, so we know channel 9 is one of them. 
I guess we just... Don't quite get it. Where's the other bedroom? Is this the other bedroom? That's cringe. Oh, there you go. Two. Two SD. Return. Oh. screen. Wait, so that's the... The letters are the password, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. How do I change... I see the numbers in it. It said channel 29. Oh, there's a TV here. That's channel. Seven. 29, 97. What was that again? 97. So 97, 29. 29. Oh no, this is the living room. So 29, 97. And what's the other one? Order room. Eight. I think it's eighty something. Is it just eight? I can. Can you go back? Slow loud, please. I'm trying to turn it off so that she doesn't get us. Why? Shit. We can't see the number. Eight. Shit. Oh, okay. And match it. Master bedroom. So eight. 97. Is this the master bedroom? 29. Enter. 8, 39, 97. Oh, did I not do that? 97 is the last one. Yeesh. What help dot jpg? Closet. Picture of the closet. Okay. And then a hand. Help, please. Setting. Attempt number eighty nine thousand two sixty four. Answer manager mark, available work. If you're receiving this, you've been chosen to participate in a nationwide survey. We believe you're qualified to be a representative of a specific demographic group we are studying. To continue, please proceed to the survey app found on your mobile device. Oh, my phone is how I change the settings. Welcome to the survey. Blah, blah, blah. Continue. Are you currently situated in your home? Are you currently employed? Yes. Do you use your mobile device open? Yes. Did you configure your password for me? Yes. Um, it was easy. Is anyone with you in your house currently? Is anyone supposed to be with you currently? What the hell is this? Are you a college student? Uh, Just pick one. Does it matter? Did you leave William home alone? No. <laughs> yes. Scary. Does it ever feel creepy when you're home alone? No. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as if you are being watched, but in reality you are not? Have you ever felt that way? I will no. not answer it. Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Are any of those inside your house? Yes. How many televisions are currently in your house? More than two. Take a short break. What? Oh. Is the survey important? Weird. Doubt it. Are you watching me, statue? What now? Oh yeah, there's something in the closet, right? 
I guess I'll go check the closet out. At super speed. Yeah. What broke? Something. The statue. There was nothing in here that could break. Then you look, look behind you. Through the door. We have to open the door. You think that's what it meant? No. I don't know, I'm just backing up know. into the wall. You have to open that, that, that closet or something. Maybe. Turn this light off. That's creepy. I'm scared now. Are you scared, honey? Yeah, I don't actually know what broke. It sounded like it came from here. Yeah, I, I can't open this. It's a wheel. What broke? Never mind. Let's move on to a different place. What, wasn't it in the bedroom? Can so we hear the crash? Whoa! Oh, the statue moved? That's creepy. Oh, hello. No, it's right there. The Lith Walker began painting when she was six years old. Though only being 12, this child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at law at a law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved to paint and expressed her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from five to 10 hours a day just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, although she enjoys painting, she plays some instruments, blah, blah, blah. On top of painting, she also enjoys. I don't care. Oh, you like to wait? What? 295 seconds? It just means like if I get stuck, it'll help me. Oh, the static is on. Oh, this is what broke. <laughs> what? The light was on before, no? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, and it totally was. I think we just wander around. All the lights are off. Great pay. Oh no, not all of them. Bedroom's lights off. Turn on. Do I just keep wandering around? Why can't we open the older door? This? Yeah, they Oh, I probably need a key. Oh, why is this locked? Hmm. Can't open that. I can't get the key. I don't know why. Pick up a secret? I can't pick up anything. I'm kind of tempted just to leave the TVs on or something. No. Oh, can I do the survey? Yeah. The next portion of the survey. Da, da, da. I need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working, specifically the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working. mom to get me a diary after my first painting sold i thought i just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts oh this is lilith mom and dad want me to keep painting but i don't know if i should 
Seems like all they want to do is make money from it. This reporter came in the other day, his name was Rick Driver, and he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently we're going to be in an article for the local news. Mom said it would be... It just... Yeah. Is that Lilith? Uh, maybe if I'm lucky I'll trip, fall down the stairs, and break my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while. I'm going for one, I don't think we need to read the nose. Ooh. She's in the laundromat? Turn the light back on. You just hanging your arm out? Okay. Yep, that's weird. Um. Make sure to do the survey. I think it helps. Is that your chase uh, was I didn't check if they were working. I guess I'll do that. That works. Can't test that. Can't test that. Are they working properly? Yeah. Did you notice anything strange? Yes. She heard you. Hide. Okay. Thank you for your input. The next set of questions follows your personal preferences concerning music. Do you enjoy listening to music? No. Yeah. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Do you enjoy listening to rap? No. Sometimes. Ah! Do you enjoy listening to classical music? Mm hmm. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Oh, it's my sister? Uh. I guess I'm Marcus. No, she doesn't want to paint anymore. I actually like playing the violin and piano way more. Okay. Remember playing songs on her violin? No. Are you jealous of how gifted she was? No. We have a song you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen. Where's the radio? Okay. Okay, I turned it on. Now what? Turn that one on. Okay, very nice. Can I continue the survey? Oh. Eight nine two six four eight nine two six four. Where I enter that. 
Mom? How are you two doing? It must be hard for you. Oh, I do go to college. College work and taking care of Lilith. I'm in a hotel right now, I'm supposed to meet my clients. I mean, where do I enter that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. What an ugly bitch. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. What an ugly bitch. <laughs> Did you scare? It was pretty creepy. Are you scared? Are you even watching? Hey, you're hiding. I was. Whoa. This make me scared. Well, it's supposed to, isn't it? Marcus's note. That's my note. I think. So my Can sister. We skim through, please? Well, I want to know what's going on. My sister <laughs> gave me a journal, even though mom said no. She said that her first painting sold. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking the trash doing dishes, wiping my butthole, and sweeping up on my butt. Uh, <laughs> after vacuuming my butthole, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull in, into the driveway, pen and notepad, oh, notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my nose, and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic, as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there, then drank it. I never got to meet that reporter, even though I really wanted to. Okay. Light. Yeah, we'll get these lights back on, although it, they can just turn off on a whim. Lilith Note 2. Kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking me to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it. Jeez. Because it apparently makes them a lot of money. They... Never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now, other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse, or maybe I'll try telling no. I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus, too. He puts so much effort into everything, and he does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week, and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present. Besides me, anyways. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more. Light. Is this like memories? I can't fix that, I don't think. Oh, well, maybe I can. Okay. Turn it off. Um, how about that survey? Did you enjoy the song? Not really. Do you remember what happened to her? No. Do you remember what happened to your family? No. The screaming. Can you hear it? Yeah. Have you seen her? Yeah. Are you lying? No. No? She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes on you? Yes. No. no. Turn around. Oh, lay. There's a door behind me. Eh? Around, <laughs> yes. You hear the footsteps. Oh. Error. 82997.
I think I entered wrong. Oh, the statue's gone. I wish it like dinged if it gave me more mail. Well, I guess we go upstairs and uh... Why did it tell me to turn around? To scare you? <laughs> Yeah. Why are you keep looking at me like that? I'm just. I'm, I'm, you creepy. I'm sorry. I was looking at the recording. I don't think that we even care about checking our email. This ghost in the house. Yeah. But did I answer? Oh, there's the key. Whoa! Okay, let's go. Open this room. Eh. What's it Use for? I don't know how. Inventory? There wasn't... Oh, maybe it's downstairs. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little chair. Oh, that little ugly room is probably for the kid. Oh, hello. Holy. Oh, the music is back. I hate painting. Mom and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet that quota. On top of going to school, I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today, I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling him that I wouldn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted, so you don't have the right color of red? You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and started hitting him. Hit, started hitting his him. <laughs> <laughs> I think nose? Yeah, oh probably hitting gosh. his nose. Until his him. blood. No, until blood started to drip from his nose. And eventually his lips started to tear open. So he just started punching Marcus. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. Wow. He took a can of booze and poured it all over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Mom just turned a blind eye, blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus just shat, sat there unconscious for a bit, and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep, reading this book about mm. cars. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> that blinking light turned back on. Uh oh, 97. Turn off. Oh, the music's back on. Yeah, I can't turn it off. Oh, whoa. Lady and gentlemen. Not really sure what the statue's significance is. Maybe it's Lily. Oh. What? Can you stop? Just randomly looking at me. Okay. That's pretty creepy. Oh, she's on the bed. Oh, she's standing right there. Ooh. Maybe she leaves oh. in the closet? Yeah, that, I feel like that's Lilith. Oh. Uh, give me a sec to read the note, please. Oh. Death of two. That is on. Two bodies were recovered from a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently was started late at night as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery, at a, <laughs> at a grocery store. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. Also, Aren't I in college, not high school? I don't know. Uh, according to investigators, a candle was knocked over. A candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but are suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Is 
Ooh. Now I cannot tell if he's a girl or a boy. Oh, I can't. I'm not fast anymore. Put a light on, please. <laughs> oh, did it kill you? I don't know. Whoa, it's just on town. Yeah. The ambulance. Nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Okay. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Up by the computer. Yeah, did I, did I just get killed? Uh, I don't know what that code is for, to be honest. Oh, part one. He watched her, writhing in pain as her condition set in. Knowing nothing could be done to help her. Among her, among all her family, she loved him the most. Yet, turn around. Eight nine two six four. The address is unavailable. Yeah, it came. I don't. Is the closet significant? Go back to the survey, maybe? No, the survey's broken. Oh, that's on again? Hmm. I guess these are paintings that Lilith painted? It's a bit messy here. Oh, there's another <gasps> one. Go. Go where? Oh. I can move them? I think the ghost did it. No, I'm, I'm touching it. What the hell? Go seven. Where? Go. It's eight, not seven. Oh, sorry. Eight. Let's try touching them. Whoa. No, it's just a signature. Okay, there's another one upstairs. Nothing in here. Oh, there's one. Ah! I don't. Nice. Oh, what about the numbers? Do they do they mean anything? Probably. Should we be paying attention? <laughs> we should. Can you touch it? So, what was the first one? Hmm. First one where? That I just pulled down. Over here. Uh, eight? Eight is Geo. Go. Six is EA. What was this? EI. Nine. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Was that all of the eight, nine, two, six, four? But if we have to look for all eight, of that number, nine, two, right? Six, we have eight. Four. Oops. We have eight, nine. Two, we have eight, nine. Six, four. And what? Eight, nine, six. Two, six, we have to four. look for two and two and four. Eight, nine. Maybe. Yeah. I don't recall seeing any more of those things. Open? In the hamper, maybe? <laughs> no, nah, I think it's just on the. Oh, there's one. Two. Ah! Yay! Now we need four. 
wow, wow. Where's the last one? I thought we just checked the Somewhere whole house. Else? Isn't it a room that we haven't been through? I don't think so. Oh. Four. Whoa. Guess got her. Nine, two, six, four. I think we got all of them. Eight, nine, Do I have to touch them in order, maybe? Maybe. Nine. Oh, yeah, they're back up. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Mm. Okay. So go eight first. Eight, nine in the living room. Two. Upstairs. Where was two? Two. Number six downstairs. Six downstairs. That's pretty. Okay. And where's the other one? Upstairs. The last room that we just checked. Was it in here? Eight, nine, two, six, four. I think downstairs. Eight, nine, two. Stop! Oh, there. Okay. Let me go down. Eight, nine, two. Mm. Four. Eight. I did. Eight, nine, two, six, one. Maybe the, the letter was wrong. Yeah, it must be the letters, I guess. Let's look what the letters spell. V. So eight. Go. Eight, nine. Go where? Go D. Should we write it down? Go... What? Go dizzed? No. Go dizz... Go this day... Doesn't spell anything that I can figure out. I think we should write it down. Give us in. I guess we did it in the wrong order. We opened the door. Eight nine two six four. We did. Maybe we just open a door now. It will open a door to the note. Eight, we did. Yeah, we did. Eight, nine. Two. Eight. Four. Which door? Oh, Here? maybe this was already opened. I just didn't. Oh, this is where she painted. The screaming, the crying. Can you hear it? For eternity, I have lived, and for one more, I shall live on. Trapped inside these memories with the devil himself. What knows? I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I tried to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital, just in case I was, it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. 
They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. Also, I, I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream, because in a way, it felt like it lasted forever. That's what's happening to me right now. Can't turn the light on. I'm scared. Well, so what broke? Downstairs? Oh, the paintings are on the ground. I think it's downstairs. Yeah. Just checking. Those paintings are not off the wall. He's breaking shit. Some, some sort of nose. Okay. Sounds like it's outside. Was oh, multiple notes. Diagnosis. Made some difficulty in regards to diagnosis. Da da da. Well, you've concluded that it's fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. It is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body, blah, blah, blah. There are treatment options, they do, but I meant the future looks grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments, and even muscle, become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40 if she's lucky. Let us know what we can do. Let me read your note. Oh, you saw her? Mm -hmm. What note am I on? Marcus note too. My parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said she felt completely stiff as if all of the muscles around her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple months. The school isn't too bad. I'm working on a little on this project with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own bake braking system for a car, something that we can control remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer to do the opposite task. Da -da -da. That would be an interesting challenge, as long as it offers to help. Okay, pointless. Alright, creepy... So... Am I in her dream? Starting to, start, Scary. starting to sound like I'm just in her dream or something. Survey? Survey's done. Part two. She lived for the most yet. He had a taunting grin on his face, as if seeing her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time what? in a long time, he felt joy. I don't know. It's outside. There's no other doors. We can't go outside. What the heck? Well, you cannot suppose to find him anyway. You're not supposed to find him. Think. Well, I'm pretty sure that's little. Oh, hi. According 
to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. You know what? This may be due well. to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and for a daughter Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents medicine. encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect Can her skills. Can we it off? No. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers oh, to become great. financially stable simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs. And I already Lilith's learned all this. Paintings sold anywhere from five thousand to fifteen thousand dollars a piece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph ah, and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 Okay. Can I leave now? What? Smash it, Dwani. Smash it. Yes? I can't open it. Was it because the TV's on? Can't turn it on. <laughs> Why can't I turn it off? I like what's not even plugged in. I can't open it. Jesus, finally. I can't give you the news, blah, 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 blah. Eventually, I lose my mobility. 
Now I just sort of lay and stay in bed. Hurts to walk. Da -da -da. But ironic. I wish I could stop painting. And then this is what I get. The best I could do was prescribe medication. You from now. It's a good chance. Blah, blah. The other day, I've heard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like it's all my fault. Can't turn it off. Okay. I wonder if I turn all the TVs. Turn all the TVs on. Screw it. Do it. Sounds like she's just outside. I think there's a one more door we have to open. Where? We'll just pass this thing through it. Oh, that that's the outside door. Oh, is it? That looks like that's the entrance to the house. Mm. I, I, I don't think... Well, I don't see any of the notes. What do we do now? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. Talking, blah blah. Frozen and Lilith will get the paint. Parents are trying to find work. Dad hasn't had any luck. Never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and stable. I've never been more excited in my life. Okay. Thing we just wander downstairs. <laughs> oh. So, is she running around leaving notes? What is this? Oh, great. So randomly. They're gonna run towards you. I'm sure. Well, I didn't get a chance to read that note yet. Oh. Die. Oh. oh, she did it again. Why does that scare me, even though it's so like, <laughs> stupid looking? Mom showed him the divorce paperwork. Never seen my dad's furious. Bloodshot eyes. Doo -doo. She's tired of him drinking. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. A lot of notes. A lot of notes uh, about random stuff. Bye. Okay, so they got a divorce. <laughs> oh, there's one more nose. Nose in the air. Suicide note. It's been hard last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job ever since the divorce. Just cover everything. Lilith, well, she's bedridden. Uh, I was told that Lilith... Wait, what? Marcus was attending college. I went to this trip. The house caught fire. I went on a business trip for about a week, and I didn't get news until I came home. Oh, this must be the mom? I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. They said the fire started in her room, most likely by a candle that was tipped over. The neighbors, they said, 
All they heard was a haunting scream, like an animal that knows its death is approaching. Everything is gone. My kids, my house. Did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. I'm a horrible person. Uh, I let my son be abused for years. I guess Joseph got was coming to him. Now it's my turn. I just wish I could watch over them. Okay. Oh, there's a statue. Hello. me from going upstairs on my phone maybe no can you get the hell out of my way Makes us just listen for a long time. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph bringing the local news to you. That was Joseph? Joseph is the dad, I'm pretty sure, right? The statue's gone. Just make us wait. Oh. Oh, he's there. Hello. Oh, she. Hello. It's Lily. Pretty creepy. Oh, she's gone. What the? I thought she didn't see me. Well, I guess she did. Hundred nose. The nose don't make any sense either. It's been almost many years since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse. Blah, blah. Mark's been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden. Well, it's piano. Mom's been working overtime. Da da da. My favorite part of the day is when my brother comes in to check on me. Hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like I'm holding him back. After dad died, he just seems so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved. But is this my punishment? Can't turn that on, what? Oh. At the master bedroom. <laughs> I seriously just have to watch this slow motion. I can't see it anymore. Can I, uh...
So none of this makes sense. Marcus is no five. I can barely keep up with everything. I just had to attend this community college and then uh, should do. As I, made, as I made my way to my room, Lilith's door was slightly ajar. Oh, last night I saw something a bit disturbing. As I made my way to my room, Lilith's door was slightly ajar, and I could also hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned the lights on, and there was blood covering her hands. She was running the tips of fingers across the wall. Up to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. She seems so... Hang on. She seems so out of touch with reality. I looked at her other hand, but it was bent at an awkward position. Her wrist bending toward her body, while her fingers looked stiff. This thing in my house. I don't think this is my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl. Her eyes gradually turned towards me. I felt them almost reaching out to me, pleading for comfort. I gave her none. Where's the piano coming from? It's taking a while to get to the conclusion here. the note let's finish the game mom is leaving for about a week she's going on a business trip to the i check on her briefly about once or twice a day when she's alive it's such a chore taking care of her what carry taking care of her why can't she just die already i'm not wrong for saying that because of her talent her god-given gift to paint it destroyed our family without it everything would be normal in the end she, everybody gets what they deserve and she's getting her end right now Dad received his, and Mom is breaking her back just to make ends meet. I wonder what my end will have in store. Who knows, maybe I'll get the worst ending of them all. I realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified. It wasn't her fault she was born with that skill. I feel guilty that I enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain. It's an immature reaction. For so long, I wish for someone to feel my suffering. I would get beatings almost every week with my mom and sister just watching. It was almost entertaining thinking of what I could tell people at school when they asked about the cuts and bruises. Now it's a little different, I guess. I'm in control and she's the helpless one. I don't really believe in a heaven or a hell, but if one exists, I'll probably end up in there later. So I murdered her? I can't tell which room was hers. To be honest. Was it the closet? The... Oh, there's another note. This will be the last letter I write. I can feel my hand becoming a mobile and stiff. Mom left a couple days ago. That's up to Marcus to care of me. Even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent. Blah, blah, blah. He hasn't checked up on me ever since he, she left. I've tried everything. Knocking and banging my hand against the wall. Screaming. I mean, that's all I really can do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through that door and check on me. Did I deserve this? For not standing up to my parents? All this is my fault. I'm, I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Oh, so I didn't kill her? Okay. And I guess he wanted to kill her? Oh, that's probably what all the numbers God said.
Yeah, that's what they spelled. What the hell? What do you want me to do? To practice some nose again. I've been everywhere, haven't I? Wait until something happened. <laughs> okay. So this game started out pretty spooky, but then it just became a chore of getting notes. God is dead. Oh, turn it off. Oh, there she is again. guns on your face i can't do anything i can't i can walk towards her though <laughs> oh. it startled me a little bit oh. what the? why does it sound like she's killing me every time okay so i get killed and wake up Life's pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. I'm in school. Uh, Mom is set to come home in a few days. It was nice. To the police report, both bodies were recovered. Mom is sometimes gets eerily quiet. Sometimes After I hear these soft knocks the coming from the walls. It was confirmed that the fire led to her death. Other times I hear her crying and sobbing. Found something strange. I have a strange feeling that I've forgotten something. Like I've forgotten to finish some sort of chore. I had a strange dream the other day. I woke up in this house, but I was alone. But I felt as if something was watching me. I couldn't leave, and every once in a while something would attack me, and I would wake up again, and it kept repeating until I woke up for real. Except I only thought it was real. After waking up so many times in this internal dream, I couldn't distinguish reality from it. Eventually I woke, a bit shaken. The dream was definitely worth no noting though, even though it was horrifying. I... I smell something burning. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her. I kept having this dream. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Hey. Marcus's I get irritated already. I think this so is the end. Not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital where he currently resides. He's like... He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has oh, been so unconscious ever since the fire. I'm in a coma. This no is a dream. When, he will ever wake up or what he is experiencing. He could be experiencing nothing at all or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was yeah. killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left oh, to decide the dad's whether or not brakes stopped working? Alive in his Marcus home. was working on some brake Many thing? may wonder whether he regrets his actions. Whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. <laughs> Hopefully it's almost all over members here. of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory.
Laboratory. The music and noise. Stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Oh. Hey, sis. That's the end. Yes. She's just Hi. still crawling towards me. That's it. To last you, sister, or her brother. What happens if she gets? Oh, well, I can still Nothing. move. Eh. Just put on men, men. I guess. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was a. Uh... It was a man out of men. It, it was. It was all right. <laughs> Um, yeah, started out creepy, but moving at supersonic speeds and just picking up notes. That's kind of the whole game. Not bad. I, okay. No, it's bad. It was, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Whoever did it, we don't All like right. it. Especially I, me. Alright. Well, hopefully that was moderately enjoyable. Please forgive us. Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll find better games. Okay. Yes, Shit. we have to shut better, better uh, games, honey. Telling me Hi. Uh this is stress. Alright. Leave a like, stress. comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. What? <laughs>